Welcome Sagittarius and thank you for being here today. This is your monthly love message for the month of January 2023. On the left hand side will be your crowning message card and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message card. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the month ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does these soulmates of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month of January 2023? Oh, that's too many cards that's come out. There was about seven or eight. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. Oh, wow. Council of Light. Divine orchestration helpers um, in the sublime realm. Now, do you know what? One of the cards that I did see was Alaska, I think it was. I wonder, and, and it's stuck in my head. So I don't know whether or not I'm supposed to find it. Um, so I should have taken it. Um, Sagittarius, I should have taken it. Uh, where is it? It was, I'm sure it was a last, there we go. Yeah, that's the one. It's that one card. Yeah, your guidance is divinely guided. Okay, that kind of makes sense because you've got divine orchestration, helpers in the sublime realms, and your guidance is divinely guided. Guided. So do you know what I, um, when I was meditating for you, Sagittarius, those that I am connecting with, this is going to sound really strange, but I got the film when Stella gets her groove back. Um, I feel that you're being guided to get your mojo back by raising your vibration um, and to get some joy back into your life. Can I get your, like, get moving, do something that's going to raise your vibration. Uh, many of you, you've got your ancestral um, or bloodline um, spirit team around you to balance out your um, your to balance out your system. I feel that they're trying to shine a light on something. They, I feel that they are very very heavily around you, and it's and uh, do you know what? No wonder I felt with this. Um, acacia, not Alaska. It was acacia. I don't know whether Alaska is something that is relevant to anybody out there, but you see how this image here is walking, walking towards, um, uh, it looks like a path going towards this doorway, but it looks as if they might have traveled, um, like coming out of the cold or coming out of the clouds and taking almost dreams um yeah taking dreams and taking a path to go towards their dreams it feels as if that is like Stella strutting her stuff with that film Stella um Stella getting her groove back uh your guidance is divinely being guided right now by your spirit team and I feel with um I see many of you I feel that you're being guided definitely to connect with your crown chakra um so that you can see that divine spirit universe is really really wanting you to get your mojo back okay get some joy um some of you you may even need to reclaim your joy by either forgiving yourself for something or forgiving somebody else and give thanks and be patient. Whatever it is that you're going through right now with regards to any aspect of your life or with regards to love or maybe a little bit of both, I feel that you're being guided um, quite heavily uh, to move forward, to move forward, reclaim your joy, reclaim your power and to move around, move around, get some, you know, dance, sing, do something um, that really kind of gets your groove back. Many of you maybe go to Alaska. I don't know why that came out of my mouth, but um, yeah, it's, it's time for you to experience joy again. And I feel that they're saying to you, you may already see that if you if you haven't seen it already, then I feel that you're being guided to reconnect with that inner light within you so that you can see that they they care for you. They love you. Your spirit team is heavily around you um, and they just want you to get back that joy in your life. <clears throat> 
my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question how does these soulmates of Sagittarius sun moon rising in Venus feel towards them in love for the month of January 2023 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards Sagittarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you thank you there we go look at that make friends friendship is the alchemy of success so either uh sagittarius it's time to remove any kind of negative energy with regards to your friendship network okay um or it's it's just time for you to get out there and make new friends um alchemy is about the balance so either um you've outgrown a group of friends or you've fallen out with a friend okay i feel that this greenery this growth this path that you're being guided to be uh, to take is to bring about some sort of abundance, some sort of gratitude for the colour in your life, for the movement, the creativity, for that mojo, that fire in your belly, okay? Um, and it's about having a balance. It's about having a balance of work life, uh, socialising, um, keeping your friend, like still having, maintaining friendships in, to get in conjunction with like a love connection. It's like you, you need that balance um, to have your friends around you, um, make new friends, maybe uh, get rid of some old friends um, that are, that you've outgrown. But it's about bringing colour back into your life. It's about um, being patient, forgiving, um, these are the key words that I'm getting to reclaim your joy. Many of you, I feel, just almost be grateful to be alive. Yeah, maybe be grateful for the friends that you do have. Maybe for some of you, it's time to cut off um, friends that are just, you know, they just bring your energy down. Okay. With regards to a love connection, I'm not quite sure what it's meaning right now. Um all i'm just getting is that get your groove back get your mojo back get your joy back sagittarius if this message is resonating for you already please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already it really does help to push this video out to um, other sagittariuses that are seeking um a general message also, it does enable you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. Existing subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, donations and encouragement. It's really appreciated. I hope you all get something useful and meaningful out of this month's reading. Before I go into your main love message... Let me just have a look at this friend's card and tell you because there's normally quite a very nice uh, poem or some wisdom with the Sufi wis uh, wisdom oracle. Um, so make friends, so it's a page 100. Okay, friendship is the alchemy of success. A safe haven, a jug of wine and a loving friend. If they could last forever, this would be a true fortune. I regret and grieve that I didn't know until now the alchemy of success is friendship, my friend. It says here, do you feel that people's demands have drained your energy and left you with little time for yourself? Exactly. Um, this oracle arrives to say that you now have the opportunity to open your heart to form the kind of relationships that will bring quality to your life. Life. What is needed is to have the courage to be forgiving open and real in your friendships now i haven't read this book because i did these are really they, i've had these cards for ages but i don't use it very often so it's very interesting that 
um, forgiveness was one of the key words that I was um, that I was given. Joy, um, getting your groove back, getting your mojo back. Many of you, you may have to cut loose some friends that are literally just draining you, and that's what I was picking up. Um, it's too much for you. You need to replenish, get some joy back, get to make some new friends, friends that will uplift you. Go out dancing, you know, go out and socialize. Whatever it is, it just gets you moving okay um what does it all say um yeah look at it says if your present relationships um are not satisfying begin to change that by finding those you can trust by developing new interests you'll have a chance to meet new friends um and then it says let yourself be lifted to a place beyond the burdens you feel and surrender with joy to a love that seeks your freedom. And the mantra um, attached to that card says, from now on, I will go along the path. That's the path, okay? I will go along the path that guides me to discover the kind of love that will help me be a better friend to others. This path will lead me to meet new and caring friends. Beautiful. OK, so there's something very strong here to do with friendships. Maybe your love connection is a friend that either needs to be released or um, needs to be moved to the next level. OK, all right, let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does these soulmates of Sagittarius sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love for the month of january 2023 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards sagittarius that i'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you all right, let's see what's going on. Is it somebody that's friend zoned you or is it a friend that it's time to move things to the next level? My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does, thank you. Oh, well, somebody is sad. Somebody has been thinking um, with the four of swords, whoever you're connecting with, they've been thinking, processing something, resting the monkey mind. And you know something, it feels about, um, they're thinking about you. It's. I feel it's to do with you. Um, either this person, whoever you're connecting with. Okay, right. The King of Swords. So this person's either been quite guarded with regards to their emotions. Okay, perhaps not speaking about how they feel. This could be somebody that you've got a really, really good friendship with. Now, either you want to move to the next level and they didn't or they said something that they would rather keep you as a friend. Um, I feel that this person might have gone a little bit silent on you. I feel that they're quite upset about that, um, possibly because you might be upset. It, you might have heard or you may have been given the response that you didn't particularly want to receive um it might be time to let go of that um let go of that concept or maybe they're having a turnaround i don't know but they are thinking about you whatever they're processing it's about what they said to you thank you yeah look at that both of you have put a lot of time and energy into this oh gosh stroke friendship stroke love connection um and it has grown. The friendship certainly has grown. Um, but your basket is empty and so is theirs. So it hasn't really yielded the results that you certainly didn't want. And I feel that has really drained you, um, Sagittarius. And I feel that you're being guided to see that, see the reality of it. It might be time to just cut down that tree with regards to any expectations of this person um, and you entering into a more romantic love connection. You may need to get your groove back by going out there, getting back out there and meeting new friends and potentially um, from that friendship will come um, a, a love connection. 
But with the Ten of Swords, you may be scared. You may be scared to put that time and energy um, into, let's say, quote unquote, a friendship with the hope and expectation it may lead to a love connection because you've done that already and it didn't it didn't serve you. Yeah, um, the, the uh, Four of Wands. I feel that many of you, you saw this person that is a good friend. You saw them as the potential of long-term commitment, um, possibly even marriage. Yeah, many of you may have felt very, very stable with this person. With the um, Four of Wands coming out here, there's a, there's a transition. There's a transition, a change. Maybe for some of you, um, the love aspect of this connection wasn't as stable as you thought it was. Um, maybe even the friendship wasn't as solid and grounded as you thought it was. And so many of you are either confused, scared to take a leap of faith again. Um, and I feel that you're being guided to take a new path. Yeah, this person definitely is confused, but they also um, are, I feel what they are uh, thinking about is that there was a lot of misunderstanding, miscommunication, perhaps around the friendship uh, with you. All right, let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can give me more information. Um, thank you. Wow, the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So I feel, that, well, this is a divinely guided counterpart. Um, it feels as if I feel what this person, and I know that I say this quite a lot, and this is probably why they're a little bit sad. Um, I feel that they do see you as um, like a good partner, like a good friend, um, maybe what they didn't see was that there is the potential for marriage, long-term commitment, because you could be their divine counterpart. And or they are recognising that is how you saw them. And that was due to a lot of misunderstanding, miscommunication, possibly on their part, because both of you nurtured this connection, okay? It's either they are waking up to the reality that, you could actually be their divine counterpart or they are feeling really, really confused why you saw them and yourself as, you know, a love item, okay? And see, notice the Queen of Swords. I feel this is your energy because you were open. You were open to take this friendship to another level, a romantic level. They were guarded, yeah? And I feel that their choice was to, to guard you, Thank you. Yeah, look at that. The devil card. Wow. Yeah. I don't know whether the devil's coming in to represent fear. Okay, because this could, Ten of Swords could represent that you are scared now to um, put any time and energy into friendships with the hope that it would turn into a love connection so put it this way Sagittarius what I'm getting here is you uh built a friendship with whoever you're connecting with I feel that you saw them as a love connection way before um they cottoned on that you see them in that way and it feels as if they cut that down and they may have said to you or they're going to say to you for the month of January that they just see you as a friend. Uh, that is where the misunderstanding, miscommunication, muddy waters, muddy waters. The two of you weren't on the same page, but there was a friendship that was that was um, solid, grounded, nurtured. Um, but both of you are coming out with your bark baskets empty. So you didn't really get what you wanted out of this. And I feel kind of like neither did they. With the Queen of Swords, and again, I feel that this is your energy. You are ready for long-term commitment, marriage. You definitely nurtured this connection. Um, and that's where I see that this Queen of Swords and this Queen of Swords um, is your energy. Whether you're male or female, you were open to take this friendship to a next level. You were ready to offer a solid commitment, okay? Okay. Um, 
but I feel that they stopped it. Yeah, they, they, they put a stop to it. Whether it was out of fear, whether it was out of misunderstandings, miscommunication, or them not choosing you, okay? They're definitely thinking about it, or they gave it a lot of thought, all right? Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Wow, I can't even make it up, yeah. They said goodbye, they walked away from the connection yeah and it almost feels as if the action that you took to perhaps bring up the topic of moving this friendship to a more romantic connection um how can i put this it kind of forced this person to walk away they may have even walked away from the connection. With the Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands, that's the Five of Wands, many of you may have felt very, very conflicted, really, really confused, almost a little bit regretful that you even brought up the topic. That's why the Devil card is there. There was something that wasn't quite on the same page how can i do you know something when i was a young young woman um i experienced something very similar to this where i had i had a really 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 good friend um at college and i mean he was a model he was absolutely gorgeous but I saw past that. We just got on like a house on fire. Um, he lived, literally lived around the corner from me. Uh, we would uh, meet each other in the morning and we would walk to college. Um, and literally he was having major issues with a past girlfriend um and i was the shoulder that he cried on and when he kind of came to the realization that you know his ex-girlfriend just wasn't serving his higher purpose anymore and he said you know i'm that's it i'm done finished i'm just i'm not going back there um and then i stupid well did i stupidly maybe you know i said to him you know what about us we've got a really good friendship would you like do you know how do you fancy the two of us moving things to the next level and he shut me down he'd done it in a really really nice way but our friendship was never the same and over the past coming weeks and months the friendship just fizzled out this is the same situation that I'm seeing for you, uh, Sagittarius. I can literally, it, it's actually bringing back some, um, yeah, quite a, a difficult period in my, in my college years. But uh, yeah, it, it almost feels as if the action that you took um, created change. It created tension um, and it, it may have triggered this person to completely walk away from the connection. And that, I feel, is what has stripped you of your joy, um, that, that groove, that mojo that um, you just have, that pip in your step, that gratitude for life. It's like everything is great, everything is fine. The friendship was there, things were blossoming. You know, many of you, you wanted something serious and it feels as if this person cut it down. Um, we've got uh, Pisces, Capricorn um, popping up here. So that could be either in your chart or their chart. Let's get some clarifiers. Gosh, I haven't thought of that um, situation at college for a long time. There we go. This person, I feel they know that there is something that they need to clear up with you. All right. Now, maybe this person, uh, maybe I was fortunate with my situation that um, this guy, he he was quite gentle and he, he was quite, I mean, he was quite straightforward. He was very direct, but he was gentle in his approach. Whoever you're connecting with, they may have been quite direct but perhaps a little bit brutal because with those three swords here it almost feels as if this person is processing it almost thinking like they could have dealt with it a little bit better okay and i feel that they know that they need to clear something up with you but they don't quite know how to do it let's have a look here 
Yeah, the five of swords. Look at the amount of swords. It wouldn't surprise me if you and this person aren't even really talking. Yeah, it almost feels as if the friendship has been damaged in some way. The five of swords face up is all about, um, again, tension, um, difficulty with communication, um, with it coming out in reverse. I feel that this person does want to resolve. They want to resolve the way things um, happened. Yeah, look at that. The queen, the queen of the, the queen of cups. The Queen of Cups. Either this person, male or female, either they do actually hold some love for you, but they were suppressing it, or they know that since whatever was said or what is whatever is going to be said, they know that you're going to suppress how you really feel about it. And I feel that they want to bring about some sort of resolution, some sort of... And that, do you remember what I said right at the beginning? Like, um, forgive something to do with forgiveness to reclaim um your joy M maybe if this person comes i don't feel that they're going to change their mind well, they might do let's wait and see um i i just feel that they just don't like the uncomfortableness between the two of you and they know that it has affected you're different you're different towards them you're suppressing your emotions uh, and then we've got the moon card here. So Pisces coming up strongly here uh, with some Scorpio. Um, with the moon card coming in, I feel the moon card is all about whatever is in the darkness coming into the light. Um, with the moon coming into in reverse, many of you, it's just echoing your confusion, which is the Ten of Swords confusion maybe uh, a little bit unhappy with the situation frustrated almost a little bit of disbelief and look at that the uh four of swords the same here um but this time it's coming in reverse okay so for many of you you may have gone through quite some time it might like i said there was a you were feeling really internally conflict to even bring up the subject um and it's possibly because you really thought about it long and hard before you raised this topic of moving the friendship to a love connection with the four of um swords in re, in in reverse again it's just showing your frustration but it's also showing um a little bit of are you a bit stuck, frustrated, maybe even a little bit resentful? Yeah, because confusion, it almost feels as if you may have felt that you were led on a little bit. And I, I like I said, I can relate to this. I can relate to this reading and I haven't got Sagittarius in my chart, but I can relate to this reading. It's almost kind of like. It sounds very. It sounds very weird, but um, it's kind of like when you build up a friendship um, with somebody, um, particularly when it's quite evident that there is chemistry there. Um, and then when you kind of say something or take action to make sure that you are both on the same page and then they kind of cut you down. For me personally, it made me feel like, well, like, why do you think like I am, I've all like, like, why do you think I've put a lot of time and energy into this friendship? It's quite evident that I wanted more, you know, just from the conversations or, you know, my body language or the flirtatious behavior between the two of us. I mean, that was my experience. But if I look at these cards here, many of you may have experienced that as well. When I say resentment, I, I wouldn't say that you hate this person. It's just kind of like, well, like, what do you think, like, our friendship was all about? Like, yes, we have a really good friendship, but maybe there was more to it. You were evidently quite loving to this person or they were quite loving towards you. And it does make you wonder, like, were they almost um, riding on that energy? Yeah, riding on that energy of, you know, 
someone paying them so much attention and being very really loving and making them feel like, you know, they are literally the only person around, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. So many of you stagnant, frustrated, maybe a little bit resentful. And it's because uh, with the six of wands here, I feel that many of you felt that there was victory in this connection. Like this was the one, the one that you were going to marry, the one that you were going to settle down with, with the queen of coins. Yeah. So it, I don't feel that you, how can I put this? You, like it, you're building up a friendship with somebody because there is an attraction there. You're getting to know somebody, but they literally took it as a friendship and nothing more. Whereas I feel Sagittarius, you always had your eye on the prize um, and it was this person as a love connection. And so when it was shut down or, you know, they kind of said, well, no, I just want to be friends. Um, many of you that kind of, yeah, put you in a state of absolute despair, confusion. Oh, God, let's let's have a look. Outcome. Well, yeah. <laughs> with the moon card what was in the dark was revealed to this person um and that was that you wanted more than just a friendship can't make it up pisces is coming up really strongly here um with um some scorpio so uh either you've got some uh water sign in your chart or or the person that you're connecting with has because pisces and scorpio is coming up strongly and there's the queen of cups yeah and isn't that interesting because I feel that this person, it was revealed to them if you spoke to them about how you feel romantically, uh, it was revealed to them how much you love them. And then they might have said something that cut it down and you walked away with that cup of love, suppressing how you feel. Many of you, this definitely kept you up at night. Maybe it's still keeping you up at night. Uh, Lady Justice is... Um, revealing themselves so i feel that this is just echoing uh the council of light the um uh, uh, uh ashka acacia that you're being divinely guided to balance out um yourself your emotions um to it's almost like there was a bit of injustice there or, you know, maybe this person was in your life just to be a friend, okay? But for some reason, it really has um, confused you, baffled you, um, and it's kind of stripped you of a bit of joy. Um, and that's what they're saying, get your groove back on, I feel. Get your groove back. Yeah, many of you, yeah, you saw this person, uh, the king of coins as long-term commitment marriage, king and queen, uh, king and queen. You definitely saw this person as your divine counterpart. I feel that you're being guided, that you have got the strength and the courage to move forward um, from this connection, okay? By getting your groove back. Uh, Leo's popping out here as well. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your in-depth outcome? Yeah. Well, do you know what, right? Uh, this person, whoever you're connecting with, uh, with the Six of Cups, the two of you have lived many lives. So that's why Lady Justice is um, popping up. If you felt within yourself, Sagittarius, that this person was your divine counterpart, because we can see two matching um suits here uh the swords and the coins um you may not have been far off because with the six of um cups this is letting me know that the two of you have lived many many lives together and so you walking away with that cup of love you suppressing how you feel um Maybe some of you are not even talking with this person. They know that they have to get this right. They know that they have to fix this because they miss you. They miss your energy. You must have really um, made an impact on this person. Uh, they see you as um, their wish fulfillment. You make them happy. Yeah. So even whatever it is that they're saying 
I suppose on their human level, on a soul level, um, there's a lot of love that they do have for you. They really, really do have a lot of love for you. And I feel either with that devil card, it shocked them. It shocked them that you wanted more than the friendship. Or maybe this person is a bit of a commitment phobia person. I don't know. But if this person is like a deep soulmate and you have lived many lives with this with this person, possibly um, your purpose in their life was to wake up to um, love, a, a true love, you know, um, an unconditional love. Because there's something that's very guarded around them. But yeah, you make them happy and I feel that they are definitely missing your energy. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you give me? Thank you. Yeah, I feel many of you definitely wanted to build a future with this person. Yet you are manifesting them. You did see them as victory. Well, that's the six of wands coming out twice now. And literally like on top of each other. You thought that this person was the one. And I feel that you're being guided that you've got the strength and the courage either to move forward or maybe to be patient because I did get that key word of being patient. But it may require you to get your mojo back, go live your life, go make new friends, show this person that you are, that you can balance out friendship and love, you can you know, if they want to be friends, then that's cool. Just it's almost like go out and be the best version of yourself. Almost not to allow this person to take away your joy. You have to reclaim your joy back. Many of you may be very outgoing, um, action orientated um, people that just love being out and about and just exploring and making new friends very sociable i feel the energy of those of you that i'm picking up so i feel that you're being guided to continue doing that yeah because it may trigger something with this person um because they're missing they're definitely missing you so who am I to say? Maybe there is something with this person, but you're being guided to have the strength and the courage to get your joy back. So with the three of wands, this person is definitely waiting for the right opportunity, I feel, to raise some sort of conversation with you. Let's continue. Oops. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify the in-depth? Thank you. Oh, look at this. <gasps> look. This person is coming in with an apology or they're coming in with a green light. Oh, what green light. Oh, the justice card. Lady justice doesn't muck around. There is a soul contract between the two of you and both of you do want to reconcile. Now, whether or not it's a reconciliation of the friendship or to move things and honour the soul contract that you have with each other. But they are definitely coming in with an apology or a green light to reconcile something. Well, you guys are going to be very happy. You're going to be very, very happy, okay, with the Ten of Cups. Uh, many of you, I feel, oh, do you know what? This might be a reconciliation. Either this person, the way that you kind of suppressed your emotions and just took that cup of love away i feel it really impacted this person lady justice is coming in to balance it out okay and many of you are going to be very very happy uh look at the two of you mirroring each other again the ten of cups i feel that this person is your wish fulfillment it's definitely somebody that um you wanted to build a future with we saw that with the four of wands even though it was in reverse that was the tension that was the instability um but it was also letting us know that there's change that's coming uh many of you are going to be very very happy with whatever this token 
of uh, affection is. It could be an apology. It could be a gift. It could be a green light. Uh, but justice is coming out to balance it. And justice is all about reconciliation. And this is their energy. The king of coins, which we saw here, okay, male or female. Many of you are going to be happy with whatever they're going to say or offer, okay. And it might be just, it might be an offer of just the friendship. But like I said, I feel that you kind of had your eye on the game. Yeah. Um, that this person was somebody that you could settle down with. Um, so for that happiness card to be coming out next to this person's energy, the king of uh, pentacles, male or female. Uh, I feel that you're going to get something, some sort of happy news. That's why the strength is saying um, you've got the strength and the courage to move forward, perhaps with this person, if you still want to be with this person. But certainly you've got the strength and courage to move forward um, to get your joy back. With the Palace of Swords, yeah, this person, I feel they're either getting dreams, signs, synchronicities that they need to communicate. They need to clear this up with you. Um, they miss you, yeah. Um, I feel possibly with that Moon card, uh, what was in the darkness was revealed. You reveal to them how you felt. Perhaps they cut you down, said no, they just want a friendship. Maybe for some of you, what was also revealed to them is that they love you. There's a communication to you, Sagittarius. This is your major arcana. So uh, this person, I feel that they do see, they recognize that you pulled away from them, um, that they, you do love them. You are their wish fulfillment and their happiness and they're communicating with you because I feel that they're being guided to do so. Thank you. I feel that this person is going to be a bit slow to come forward with a solid offer. Thank you. And uh, I also feel that many of you are, are going to put down that burden over what was said. What was said, what wasn't said, um, you're putting down that burden because it did burden you. And we saw that with the Nine of Swords. It was something that was keeping you up at night, really kind of. It's almost like, you know, when you just put your, your foot in something, you just think, oh, God, I really wish I could take that back. That's the kind of energy that I, I'm getting here. But uh, you guys, I feel that um, there might be uh, a little bit of reconciliation here, uh, something you're going to be very happy about. I feel what was burdening you, you're going to be able to put down that burden. Uh, you might be a little bit cautious as well before you jump into kind of, you know, thinking that this, you know, this could be um, moving to a love connection. I feel that, or, you know, they could be a little bit slow. Uh, let, let's clarify. But yeah, I feel it's going to move slowly at first. Okay. But eventually you're going to put down that burden. Uh, and I do see happiness. Yeah, I see you very, very happy. So maybe that, that six of wands, that victory is coming out is, is, yeah, maybe you are coming out victorious. With the Empress energy here, I feel that this is your energy, Sagittarius. This person does think the world of you. And maybe that is what was revealed to them by you walking away or pulling away that love um, from them. Yeah, because they ultimately walked away from you and it might have been triggered um, simply because, you know, ha this is how I'm getting it. You friendship you spoke your truth wanted to move things to the next level they basically said no they walked away um you then pulled back that loving energy of what you were nurturing into the connection because there's the nurturing there that's why i feel that that's your energy um and so um yeah so this person it feels as if um they're missing that. Yeah, they're missing it. it. It's kind of like walking away from the idea or concept of moving this friendship to a, a, a romantic connection. It also meant walking away from the friendship. And I feel that this is what this person is waking up, that 
they do care about you, um, they do miss you, you are their wish fulfillment. So it wasn't just you that revealed something, I feel Divine Spirit Universe revealed something to them as well. Remember, a divine orchestration is going on, yeah? I feel that, um, yeah, they they are fully aware there was a lot of misunderstanding, miscommunication. That's why I feel that it's triggering that page of cups. An apology for that. And I feel that they've got a choice. They're making a choice to come to you to clear something up through communication. Because this person respects you. Yeah, they, they, they think the world of you. Thank you. And this said, look at that, look at that, the death card, beautiful. Justice is coming in to balance things out, to reconcile the two of you. A transformation is happening, a rebirth of this connection. And this card wanted to pop out. Yeah, look, this person, I feel that they know, um, uh, I feel maybe what they might be a little bit worried about is if they offer uh, a cup of love, uh, they may, that you might reject it. But it feels more that many of you are thinking about the cup of love that you offered and it was rejected. You're thinking about the breakup, yeah? You're thinking about the breakup. Um, and manifesting, manifesting to move on, manifesting that this can be resolved, manifesting that this can be balanced out. And Lady Justice is here and so is the death card. So there is definitely a reconciliation, a balancing out. Many of you, as you sit back and reflect, you may feel that you gave a lot to this connection, a lot more perhaps than they did. You definitely nurtured it. OK, and I feel that many of you are, again, frustrated. Yeah, frustrated, maybe a little bit resentful, thinking about the cup of love that um, you offered them and they rejected it, that triggered a breakup. Now that you're manifesting to put down this burden, manifesting something being balanced out in some shape, form or another, well, your wishes are being answered with the death card in the um in the middle of the reading and lady justice okay something is definitely being balanced out and i feel that there's a rebirth but you know it's still not quite telling me whether or not the rebirth or the transformation is with this person or with somebody else let me just pull just a couple more for you my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can we just focus just on sagittarius is the rebirth with this person or somebody new is it with somebody new with this person is the rebirth with this person or somebody new hmm you're wishing, hoping, dreaming. Oh, there might be others that come in, but your your mind keeps going back to this person. Ah, oh, that's the crossroads. So you're at a crossroads because you may um, find other people. Yeah, you may find other people, um, make new friends, but your mind will still keep going back to this person because as far as you're concerned, you both hold the key to each other's heart. But look at right in the middle there, the five of coins. It's the breakup. That's what you, you can't stop thinking about this person. Um, and you're at the crossroads. If either when this person comes towards you, either you're going to be at a crossroads to just accept just a friendship or at a crossroads to completely walk away because you're not going to be really fulfilling what you want out of it yeah you'll give them what they want which is the friendship because i don't know whether or not they're coming back to move things from a friendship to a love connection they may just want to reconcile the the friendship but mm, maybe Sagittarius, maybe you're being guided to see, does that really serve you? Which brings me back right to the beginning of the reading. Maybe there are some friends you just need to let go. That's very interesting. 
Let's clarify the Four of Cups, please. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. Oh my God, I did not expect that. OMG, the Two of Cups. So maybe this person is going to come in with an offer to give equally. This is my Twin Flame card. Okay, Sagittarius, this whole situation might run through um, longer than January. I feel that you guys might have a little bit more of a bumpy road with this person, but I feel that it could potentially end with this person wanting to give equally um, in a loving connection, in a loving way and you reciprocating and in the meantime you might meet new people but your mind keeps going back to them yeah but you're still scared you're still scared you don't want to get stabbed in the back again yeah you don't want to get stabbed in the back let's clarify the two of wands thank you see look at that the ten of wands again you're at a crossroads. Now look at those two tens are going in opposite directions. It's either a lot of tens coming out. It's either you're at a crossroads of continuing to carry the burden that this person just wants to be friends. And maybe um, later on down the line, um, you put down the burden because they're coming in to offer equal love. What's this card? Yeah, secretly. I feel secretly, secretly, I feel that you're still going to want to know. You're going to still want more, okay? It feels as if this is the way that it's going to play out. Like this person may come in to reconcile the friendship. And many of you are going to keep secret. Like, do I um, put down the burden of wanting more? Or do I run the risk of getting stabbed in the back again? Um, and still carry the burden of wanting more? Okay. Uh, and, and then after you kind of go through that phase, then maybe things will pick up and this person comes in with love. Let me see what's going on their side. God, I feel like I'm... Oh my God. So the Wheel of Fortune is going to go in their favour, I feel, in terms of reconciling the friendship with you. I feel that they're going to wait before they come in to move things to more loving connection. Let me see, let me see. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Wands? Thank you. Well, they are going to use every bit of strength and courage to reconcile to talk to you yeah we know that okay every bit of strength and courage because they know that this is a fated connection my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you thank you yeah with the page of swords they're going to come in and clear up um, possibly that they want to reconcile, but just the friendship side of things. But they're going to be observing, waiting. It's like they want to, it's like they're going to do like a bit of a, a stepping stone process. Reconcile the friendship with you and then observe how things progress. To wait and see possibly how they really feel about you. <gasps> They can't stop thinking about you. Oh, my God. So it's almost as if they want to just check themselves before they come in and offer anything more serious than the friendship. But they can't stop thinking about you. It almost feels as if it's like, OK, it's like, OK, let me um, let me just get the friendship back on track with Sagittarius and then let me see how I feel. 
Well, with the chariot in reverse. Okay, so the chariot feels as if they're going to come out really victorious in terms of reconciling the friendship. However, with the chariot coming in reverse... For, for many of you, it's almost as if it's, it's like, um, it's almost as if um, it's not going to be fulfilling for them. This is them self-doubt, like um, doubting themselves. So, okay, Sagittarius, bear with me, right? Throughout January, this is going to go through a lot of ups and downs with this person, all right? When they walk away, when you raise the whole topic of moving from um, friendship into a more romantic connection, it feels as if they're going to miss your energy and they're going to want to reconcile the friendship. You're going to be at a crossroads. OK, do I just kind of go with the flow with it? OK, carry the burden that I secretly want this friendship to be more of a love connection. Um, but am I running the risk of getting my heart broken, getting stabbed in the back? OK, this person is very much kind of similarly on the same vein as you, except it's the reverse. It's like this person is going to reconcile with you to reconcile the friendship, make it very, very clear that it is just the friendship that they want to reconcile, but they can't stop thinking about you. So they are giving themselves time to see how the connection, the friendship, the reconciliation of the friendship pans out. It's going to be unsatisfactory for them with the chariot coming out in reverse. And so now they're going to start self-doubting themselves because they can't. St now they can't stop thinking about you, possibly on a romantic level. Yeah. So now they doubt themselves. They now question themselves. Well, do I feel a little bit more for Sagittarius than just a friendship? What's the final card? Yeah, there's your energy. There's your energy. So it feels as if, um, okay, Sagittarius, right? This is how I would play this personally, all right? This is me personally giving my opinion and I try not to do this. I would suggest, based on your cards, Go out and make new friends. Get your joy back. Reclaim your joy. When this person comes back to uh, reconcile the friendship, do so. But continue engaging with other people, other friends. Continue being your free-spirited self, attractive, beautiful, mysterious, um, wise, you know, kind of almost like the center of attention, this person is then going to start doubting themselves, doubting their feelings, doubting like, hold on a minute, do I, I'm thinking about Sagittarius quite a lot here, like maybe I do feel something, they're going to wait, they're going to wait it out and see how they feel, that is where I feel that the Two of Cups is then going to come in, possibly by the end of January going into February, this person is going to wake up and it's going to be revealed, they're going to reveal to themselves that actually they feel more for you than just friendship and that is when I feel that you are going to have another conversation with them about giving equally, moving the friendship to a loving connection, which is why the um, second 10 of um, wands is in the opposite direction. That is when you will then put down the burden of this person not wanting to move um, from a friendship to a romantic connection. I know it sounds really complicated and I know that uh, this reading took a heck of a lot longer yeah, then it should have done. Um, but I was just curious. I was really, really curious. And I don't know whether I was picking up your curiosity. Um, but it was just kind of like, well, hold on a minute. You know. But yeah, it feels as if there's going to be a lot of ebbs and flows. Go with it. I feel the key thing is get your groove back. You'll attract this guy back. Um, guy or girl back into your life for some of you it might actually be a guy because it the guy just came out of my mouth let's get your advice you know what i mean but uh yeah there we go
release release anything that keeps you from your path of authenticity and your path of authenticity is this beautiful confident attractive uh individual that um loves making friends that is curious that is uh playful confident things for themselves wise um yeah release release this person in terms of them taking away your joy it's time to reclaim yourself back um and as they come back um then yeah you you make those steps to yes be their friend and everything but still continue with other friends mixing and socializing with other people because you've got to be your authentic self yeah getting your groove back and reflection, see all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. Mm -hmm. So if this person is genuinely your twin flame, you have to reflect how are they seeing you? What do you want them to see? Do you want them to see somebody that is um, a friend, that is willing to sacrifice their feelings just to be their friend? Or do you want them to see, you know, or, you know, see someone that wants to sacrifice, um, you know, the love that you have for them and just be friends and then not be your authentic self? Or do you want them to see somebody that is like, OK, you just want me to be your friend. Fine. No problem. I'll be your friend. But I'm going to have loads of other friends as well. So you're then differentiating um, and not putting them on that kind of pedestal, if you know what I mean. So try and look and see how this person is going to see you. Um, and I feel that what you're trying to go for is this mysterious, beautiful, attractive, um, very sociable person that's making friends, um, bringing in light. Yeah, bringing in love. Um be in your authentic self because that is what is going to attract them to you and then star seed raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant loving light absolutely so it's your light that this person i don't feel in a malicious way but they have dimmed it and that is what your spirit team are coming in to say that is what you've got to get back yeah, I feel that there is potential for you in this friendship to move to the next level, but you can't wait. You can't put your life on hold. Make new friends so that you can have a balanced viewpoint with where this relationship is in the present. OK, let's have a look and see what your guardian angel message is. My angels and spirit guides of the well, these two cards wanting to come out. What have we got? Peace and conflict. Wow. How? Am <laughs> and do you know what? It's almost like many of you, it, it's like there has to be a little bit of conflict in order to bring about peace. And the conflict is, is that this person hasn't quite woken up with the fact that there is more than a friendship here. You can see it in the cards, but it hasn't been revealed to them yet. Peace. Calm your thoughts and move your awareness to a peaceful space inside your heart. Feel the ebb and flow of love. Didn't I just say, did I, I just specifically said those words? This relationship is going to have a lot of ebbs and flows before it flows out properly. The eternal movement of the stars, okay? Feel the ebb and flow of love, the eternal movement of the stars. Your life is forever unfolding to greater spheres of love. Relax and do not worry about anything for all is well. You will soon enter a time of well-earned peace and tranquility. There is hope for this connection. And then conflict, feelings which you have suppressed for a very long time. <laughs> are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed you are torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants and this is the primary cause of stress in your life we your angels urge you to follow your heart 
Do what you would love, not what you think you should. And that, my darling Sagittarius is, I know that it's been a long reading. I really hope that you stayed with me all the way through to the end. But that conflicts card is why they are saying to you, get your groove back. Because it's almost like this person is almost taking your energy, your light, because they miss you. If they do love you, it's just that they... They, ha they haven't quite quantified it in that sense. That's why that devil card was there. And in whilst they figure that out, they're draining your light. They're draining your joy. You're being guided. Don't let that happen. Everything will be all right. But whilst this person kind of wakes up to this connection, you need to go out there, make new friends, be your beautiful action orientated independent attractive mysterious self and this person will eventually wake up and you will eventually get peace but don't sacrifice your joy for nobody that's i feel the key message that's coming in bit long-winded i'm so sorry but i'm going to leave that there for you if it resonates please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time i'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love peace and light you take care bye bye